Hello, hello, hello. I am the Painter Dog and welcome back to the Northeast region. In Capella's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. So as you can see, and if you can remember, if you watched the previous episodes, we completed the Black Bear Hunt and the Caribou Hunt. So what we have left now is two Moose Hunts. But one is with a recurve bow and one is with a pump action shotgun and then we have this one. I think let's try and go for this one. We need to hunt four whitetail deer with a rifle from less than 60 yards. So, so this will probably be a longer episode. Since we need uh, four deer, whitetail deer in less than uh, six, I believe it's 60 yards. I'll just check now again. Just switching that out. So yeah, less than 60, from less than 60 yards. So we need to find four bucks. So it might be a tall order. But let's have a look. It's 7,500 gear credits just for that. To complete this. Okay. We have a couple of holes in that direction. But the wind is definitely not in our favor. I might have wanted to get a saint mask instead of an extra that would probably be the best idea since now we have 18 rounds and we only need to hunt four deer so it might have been an oversight there but we'll see we'll see we might get lucky but we need to get really close so probably not but let's just see so from less than 60 yards if there's four bucks in, or more than one buck in this, I'll tag the other one. And we'll try and get... Okay, there's basically all the bucks that we need right here. We just pin that guy. Lie down. And as soon as that marker turns green, we can crawl closer. To be honest, I don't think it will be, get green because the wind is definitely not in our favor. But let's at least try and get closer. You can always reposition once they run away after we've taken the shot. We can always try and reposition, get the wind in our favor and then approach them from downwind. But for now, let's just try and get a, get a shot. From the appropriate distance and then we can 70 yards. Problem is now that guy picking up on the grass or on that trophy. Okay, it's definitely this guy. 56 yards. If that guy would were to turn broadside. I'm taking the shot. Because I would really love a double long shot. For no other reason than the extra gear credits. Go for it. Whew, at least a lung, lung shot. I was a bit afraid now. A lung the shot. Soft point. Nice and clean. Okay, we did get the other guys pinned. The bag. We have seven hours to complete this, so we can reposition and. Getting a more favorable. I reckon this area's all hunted out for the day. The animals are cleared out. Get in a more favorable position to approach the herd and not spook them. Let's see. Great. 
upgrades we have won. So we're running off in that direction. I lost the marker now, so they are a distance away now. Is that running to when there's a equal one in this? So let's head off in this direction. Just for a little a little ways away. See if we can thing is now from less than sixty yards. That's a thing that's a bit worrying. Let me get to this stand and see if we can at least pin them because they'll probably move back. That's usually what happens. Watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Okay, the wind is in a more favorable position now. Let me see if I can get on into the stand and see if I can at least tag an animal. Then we have that. Quite a distance away. Not the same herd. Definitely not the same herd, but... We can still try and approach them. I'm going to go around on the left of these bushes. And see, I might be able to intercept the other herd running back. Walking back. I need three more white tail deer. And that guy is 120 yards from the tree stand. So I have quite a distance to cover, but hey, we might be able to do it. So I, I believe this is the other herd. Might be mistaken, but I do believe it's rather heard. See, there's a buck. And now we have notifications from this side as well. So we try and avoid us getting. Okay, you are close now. You know what, if possible, let's try and find another buck and mark that guy. And let's take a shot on this dude. <sighs> Mid game, I had to adjust my sensitivity on my mouse. Get a more controlled. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Okay, we have our second one. Looks Ooh. like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. So let's claim it. Great. Two more to go. going to go more to the left now so we can keep the wind in our favor and then I believe that's the same one or same herd so the wind is great wind direction is great really so let's try and get to this one Come on. 
won't be too difficult to get the last two. Please. Remember it. Probably forget, but if you want to get the other accomplishments, there's always a rabbit one. So basically all four of those animals that are present here, but you can't really you can shoot, but you can't you don't have other missions for it. Basically it's in all of the regions there's at least two one oh there's a hunt of each. No, it's three, not four. But there's always four hands. Now the notifications are coming from this side. We've sworn this in that direction as well. Now the wind is less favorable, but we can still try and swing this. One of my friends actually had, now that I think about it, when going off to the same herd here, one of my friends actually had the luck, or uh, you can say it's luck, probably. He was hunting in the area where I worked on a, a game farm, and uh, there was a small herd of three blue bolivias, or brindle, brindle new, other name, and uh, only three left in that entire herd. Stay flexible on your approach. The wind could shift and make a shooting spot unusable. The rest of the herd were thinned out by by lions. So you had the luck to be able to take on those three. Let's take the shot at this buck. Another buck in this herd. Doesn't look like it. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. Zero hunting pressure still, so that, that's great. Let's go and claim this trophy. Almost there. One trophy left to complete the hunt. I didn't see any bucks in this rest of this herd. Actually kind of sad that I took out the last buck. But hey, he's hunting. A hunting game actually. But let's not dwell too long on this, hey? Getting a notification from that side. Have a quick peek. Don't see anything yet. Probably just missed. Okay, a couple of those there. Don't see any box, so let's head on. In that direction. Let's have a quick peek again. No, no, no box in that herd. I'll probably spend the rest of a couple of hours left in this game searching for the last box. That's always how it works, eh? I'm not getting any sound notifications from over there. 
That's why I'm heading more in this direction. Because we know there's here in this direction. The buck might just be behind cover. Probably not. females and now they'll probably run let's see if we get over this hill if we can spot anything that female is still tagged in a westerly direction so I might just turn around and go and have a look just to make sure because I didn't see all of the of the deer in that herd, but I don't believe there's any bucks there. I we definitely would have gotten a noise ping or whatever. So let's head in this direction and see if we can spot that herd. It might just be a buck. Probably not, as I said, but we might just get lucky. And still, this game is gloomy. It's a, an advantage and a disadvantage at this stage because you can't really spot the animals. You have to shoot them from less than 60 yards. But now you can't spot them from a distance and then sneak up on them. Now you have to basically be able to, you have to sneak the entire time, unless you get these noise markers. I won't be able to spot it from that tree stand, so that's the only reason Watch I... Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. I didn't pay attention to the, the wind direction. There's a female. Come on. Let there be at least one buck in this herd. There you go. So let's try and get it in a more favorable position. There's at least two. That one. I think this is the original herd. It's quite a distance. And stop. They are looking. Actually, be walking in a crawling in a more in this direction to see if I can maybe get close enough within that 60 yards probably not but you never know your luck in a big city although I am in a small town now said we don't really need to go for the biggest trophy we just need to find a buck within 60 yards but just need a buck okay, I'm definitely spotted still it's for wind it's straight up the wind direction Let's just keep an eye out on the, the color of that bag. Let's just chill for a, a second. He 
Let's see if it's possible to cancel. Let's see if it's possible to sneak around this bush and get to that line. Stand still. And go. Percent hunting pressure. Basically just because of this action right here. Now they are standing behind that. So that pushes 50 yards. Which is great. If they were in front of a bush. And still. And they are moving. But in which direction? I don't really want to move into that that blind if I'm moving to the right hand side now. She's really close. Buck is still still a bit wary. Stand, just stand still. Just chill for a second. You don't want to mess this up. Already messed it up by not taking a look at the, the wind direction. 69 yards. Closer. But still no cigar. Okay, stand still. I just risk him and move closer to him. I think that might be the play. As soon as we can, 65 yards. Just need to be within that sweet spot of about 58. And I'll take the shot. Okay, the if wind you're is better now. Wind of the animals. And we are 62 yards. Turning green. Light out, light out, light out. I'm going to mess this up. We all just know this by now. Already messed up. Because well, I didn't take a shot when I had the chance. And let's see if we can still salvage this. Fuck is walking. Basically in front of us. Don't really spook them off. They'll start running now. Might still do it, but let's hope they are not sensing that I'm moving away from them. I'm not afraid to them anymore. My nerves are shot. I really don't want to have to run after these guys. 73 yards. Hopefully there's another buck.
should have just crawled to this line. I can't even see. Probably the one right. Buck is probably right in front of us. The other one. Where's well, that dude? 66 yards. Let's crawl. Sixty-three, basically where we were on that side. Still sixty-two. Let's crawl a bit further and stand still. Bit more. Can't stop. Now there's a problem behind these bushes. Now I want to move out from behind them, but just enough so we can see the buck, not too much as to scare it off. doesn't count because it's vital organs more than 60 come on just hit uh... ah, that was close but still off the mark you need to practice your marksmanship to ensure a clean shot if I had the polymer tips that would have been uh, a vital shot Let's follow the blood trail. So this won't be the... I won't get extra gear credits for this one. I believe it will. You can see the blood is really deep red. And quite a lot of blood. Stay flexible on your approach. The wind could shift and make a shooting spot unusable. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. And we have our last one. Hopefully that's close enough. And it's probably moose in front. I had to walk through long grass like this. In an area where a leopard uh, patrolling. So I get a bit claustrophobic. I'm not really claustrophobic. But if you walk in an area where you know these dangerous games, you spotted them the previous day. I'll also on foot in that same area. Then it's a bit uh, claustrophobic. But yeah, there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed this longer episode because we had to do a bit of hunting but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the next one. Cheerio.